More local news now. A Waukesha County judge deciding if one of the girls involved in the Slender Man stabbing case will go to trial as a juvenile or as an adult. Two days of testimony ended today. Michelle Fiore is live in Waukesha with that story. Michelle. Hi, Courtney and Steve. Well, the judge listened to 10 witnesses here, including mental health experts, corrections officers, and teachers. The hearing now over, and he has until August 10th to make a decision. The defense is fighting for Morgan Geyser's attempted homicide case to fall back to the juvenile system, where she would be assured proper treatment for schizophrenia. Dr. Kenneth Robbins says an adult correction center would be a poor fit for a child with hallucinations. They're punished, and often the punishment includes solitary confinement, which is um, amongst the worst things you can do for somebody with this illness. While the state isn't challenging whether Geyser needs treatment, their witnesses leave doubt, though, about the public safety. If Geyser's case is heard in the juvenile system, she could be released in her 20s. When your delusion, when your fixed delusion tells you to kill people, and when your insight doesn't allow you to seek treatment, then schizophrenia becomes dangerous. Geyser has been adamant about not wanting to take medication for her mental illness. Dr. Kenneth Casmir says six months after she and co-defendant Anissa Wire allegedly stabbed their friend 19 times, Geyser was still talking about her belief in Slenderman, hearing his voice and a number of other voices. Morgan said, well, if, if he told me, meaning Slenderman, if, if he told me to hurt more people, I'd have to do it. Again, the judge is expected to make a ruling in August as to whether to keep the Slender Man stabbing case here in adult court or to send it back to juvenile. We're live tonight outside the Waukesha County Courthouse. Michelle Fiore, today's TMJ4. All right, Michelle, thanks.